our first paddle of 2021. It is a beautiful 29 degrees out today, end of May, and we are actually trying something new out and doing a tandem kayak. We're also going to be camping tonight, and so we do have it pretty loaded. Hopefully we don't sink. And it is just gorgeous out. The weather is wonderful. The river looks great. I'm just going to flip this around so you can see. We're heading out from Cambridge and going to make our final spot in Paris. Look at this view. You can see this beautiful green everywhere you look. Forward, backwards. Stunning. I know I'm surprised more people aren't out here. Mm -hmm. It is gorgeous. Yeah. Actually, up here to our left, there's not many houses up here um, because of the trail that runs through. But there is a house here, and they have a little farm and horses. horses. It's really cute. You know, if I was a horse, I would want to live there. Absolutely. Danielle really loves horses. We just made a crazy trek to try to find the old mill in Glen Morris. We pulled off on the side of the river. We've stepped in clay, sunk our shoes, climbed over all these rocks. <laughs> I think we got some poison ivy in front of us, maybe some poison oak. But the view, the view is worth it. Danielle's always the bomb. <laughs> Few bugs out here. Get the ticks off you. People always think we're crazy for kayaking and doing all this stuff. But things like this just make it worth it. Here we are. We just uh, came along a two by four, it looks like piece of wood at the side of the river so Bree has stopped to pick it up and we're gonna take it with us and see if maybe we can use it to build something cool. So we'll strap it on our kayak and hope that it doesn't bring us down. Does it look good? It's a good piece of wood but it's gonna be heavy. All right well are we up for the challenge? All right paddling our way down the river. And this is my view. <laughs> Got a nice piece of wood ahead of me. So I'm excited to maybe sit on that later while we have a fire and enjoy an AC. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, there's some people fishing up ahead. Glad there others are. Crazy. Yeah, probably. We look a little silly. <laughs> That's okay though. When have we cared? <laughs> Looks like they got the same idea too for this great weekend. Right, up ahead, we have a little bit of a stronger current, but I want to show you this hill over to the right. There's all these trees growing out sideways, and it's just the coolest little place. It almost looks like there's like a small cave or something. You see people sometimes going up there trying to explore. So. Oh, the water's getting a little faster. Good. Rock's the right break. Oh gosh. You're good, you're good. You're good, you're good. <laughs> okay, fixing this wood in front of us. Okay, there we go. All right. Sorry about that, guys. There, there you go. There's an awesome view. I'm going to put this phone away because I don't want it to get wet. <laughs>
<laughs> so looking around, I see some pretty decent hammock trees. Bree and I both brought hammocks for tonight. So uh, just scoping them out. These ones look pretty good. There is um, lots of poison ivy, poison oak around here. So we are just putting on longer pants and socks so we don't get all itchy. Um, this tree I was looking at, but looking at the side, it looks like it's got a big crack in it. So probably not the best tree to hang a hammock from. So I'm gonna keep looking and then uh, show you how it's done. It's super easy and enjoy it more than a tent these days. Oh, there's Bree. All right, we're ready to go. double checking or not normally we don't have tarps over but it's iffy if it's gonna rain tonight so this is the all finished Danielle you did a good job oh thanks so did you well we had a nice swim in the river and got our jammies on and uh, our accommodations for the evening are all set up so we're pretty excited about that first time we've ever put tarps on top of our hammocks but it's supposed to rain tomorrow so we want to stay dry and uh, just sprayed a bit of bug spray, so hopefully the bugs will leave us alone. See our kayak that we pulled up, and we've got a fire going, and just this view. Yeah, it sounds so nice. I'm gonna fall asleep listening to that beautiful sound. Here we are taking off in the morning. We ate a delicious steak dinner over the fire last night. We have some leftovers for our lunch today. We are all packed up and cleaned up, didn't leave a trace behind. And as we're taking off, you can see this beautiful deer up to our left. Just gotta love all the views you can see here. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> yeah. Going through the rapids and avoiding the big rocks can be fun. There are a few shallow spots in the Grand River, not too many, but you do need to get out and move your kayak. As you can see, we are pretty weighted down and it could have been a contributing factor. Thank you everyone for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe if you liked it. That way you can be notified when our next video comes out. 
soon we will be doing a six-day kayaking trip along the Grand River starting in Cambridge and ending in Port Maitland. Hope you guys check it out!